Hello dear students, I hope you are having a good time at home. My name is Dr. Vasim Mushtaq and I am your biology teacher. So let us straight uh, start with the uh, chapter second in our syllabus that is the organization in living beings. Okay, living beings, we can be compared, our, we can compare ourselves with the machines like a machine like a motorcycle or a car it has several parts. It has steering, it has wheels. Okay, it has a, a petrol, uh, it has a pump inside it to contain the petrol to uh, for the fuel reservoirs. Okay, so many, the roof is there. Okay. So, so many components are there. Glass is there, door is there. Similarly, we can compare, human beings can be compared with the machines as well. We are also made up of different parts, like we are made of hands, stomach, eyes, ear, different parts. We are made of different parts, so we can be compared with the machines, all right? So, organization in living beings. We, in this chapter, we'll study that how living beings are organized in different, or in different ways, okay? How many different levels of organization are there? First, we should understand the term organization, that what does the term organization mean? <clears throat> organization means the systematic arrangement of, a, of the components, the systematic arrangement of all the components of a system to perform a specific function. So this is the definition of the organization, the systematic arrangement of all the components of a system to perform a specific function. All right. Now, similarly, there are different levels of organ levels of organization in the living beings. Okay, there are the lower levels, lower levels of organization, organism level of organization, and higher levels of organization. So basically, there are three levels. So let's start with the <clears throat> lower levels of organization. Lower level of organization. It starts with the cell. I'm not concerned about the non-living parts. Non-living parts are the atoms on and the molecules. We know that the H2O. H2O is the water molecule. It is made up of two kinds of atoms, hydrogen atoms and oxygen atoms, and together they make up the water molecule. Okay, I'm not concerned about the non-living uh, non parts. I'm, I'm concerned about the living part. Living part starts from the, right from here, from the cell up to the biosphere. All these are the living parts. So we'll talk about that, and we shall start with the level of, lower levels of organization with the basic cell. <clears throat> cell we know is the, basic structural and functional unit of living organisms, whether it is plants or it is animals, okay? Cell is common, both unicellular and multicellular organisms. Unicellular organisms like uh, amoeba, paramecium, bacteria, okay? They have a single cell, okay? And the single cell performs all the basic functions of life, like respiration and photosynthesis in some cases, breathing, excretion, okay? The, okay? So osmoregulation, so all these functions are performed by a single cell in these unicellular organisms like uh, bacteria, paramecium, okay? And in the case of the multicellular organisms, in the, the multicellular organisms have, they have millions and billions of cells. And all those cells work, work or function in a coordinated manner to perform a specific function. Okay, so the cell is the basic level of organization or we can call this as a cellular level of organization. Now, similar kind of cells make up the tissue, which is the next level of organization. Tissue is the next level of organization. The similar kind of cells, same in structure, performing the same function, they make up the tissue. Means tissue is a group of cells similar in structure and function. For example, the outer layer of cells present on the leaf, okay, which is called as the epidermis. Okay, this, this uh, epidermis is a tissue. So this outer layer of cells in a leaf called the epidermis is a epidermis is a tissue. And what function does those epidermal cells perform? They perform two kinds of functions. Now first is the protection from the excessive sunlight. Okay, they are because they have the property. Okay, they have the property to reflect back the sunlight. Okay, they give the protection uh, against the sunlight and also against the entry of different pathogens and germs. So this is a function performed by the same similar kind of cells here and we call those cells as epidermal cells or we can call this as epidermis tissue. Now under the epidermis tissue is a one more another kind of tissue which does the photosynthetic function in plants. All right, so are you getting me? So this tissue is a group of cells which are performing the same function and they are similar in structure. Okay, the similar kind of tissues make up an organ. All right, like we have one more example of tissue first uh, one more example of tissue in human beings i will give you is the nervous tissue nervous tissue consists of all the nerves or the neuron cells which are concerned with the function of uh, function of carrying out the information 
okay they are they do this in a coordinated manner coordinated fa fashion so the, all the nerve cells make up the nervous tissue in the case of human beings next level of organization is first we started with the cell cell make up the tissue tissue make up the organ and it will go like this all right so the similar kind of cells make up the tissue and different kinds of tissues different kinds of tissues but performing the same function is known that if performing the same function make up an organ and we can call this as the organ organ level of organization organ level of organization for example heart heart is a organ okay it is made up of many kinds of tissues okay whether it has straighter muscles and non straighter muscles let's not go there but it is made up of many kind of tissues but all those tissues are concerned with the same function that is heart is pumping the blood throughout the body so these different kinds of tissues okay but uh, but but they work and function in a coordinated manner for the same purpose that is pumping the blood throughout the body so the heart is an organ and this level of organization is called as the organ level of organization okay from from cell up to the organ system it is known as the lower level of organization cell i already told you similar kind of cells make up the tissue tissues make the organ and the organs make the organ system different organs make the organ system different organs like heart kidneys heart kidney the different kind of organs for example related with the alimentary canal the organs related with the alimentary canal are esophagus stomach okay small intestines they all are concerned with the same function that is digestion so we can call this an organ system that's and the name is digestive system means digestive system is the is the arrangement of the organs concerned with the same function so how do we define the organ system organ system is a system where many organs many different organs are concerned with the same function okay that make up the organ system for example digestive system in case of the human beings okay now let's move out to, let's move to the organismic level of organization these organ systems like for example in human beings we have how many organ systems we have we have digestive system we have respiratory system we have excretory system we have reproductive system when all these systems work <clears throat> work together work together for the same purpose in a coordinated manner they bring up the organism they make up the organs what is organism like what are you and me we are a coordinated function of the many organ systems many organ systems like our digestive system respiratory system excretory system all these organ all these organ systems when they work together for the same purpose okay in a coordinated manner they make up an organism and this is known as the organismic level of organization okay now let's move to the higher level of organization it starts from the population up to the last level of organization that is the biosphere right organisms make up the population like we human beings we have one kind of organisms okay in your town or in your colony when the human beings when we live together in close association with each other and we are interdependent on each other for like uh, a teacher is providing you the education okay and you are paying the fee to the teacher so that he can take care of, take care of his family you go to the barber shop for hair cutting you go to the salon for hair cutting he does the hair cutting and you give him the money and from that money he can earn his bread and butter right so we work in a we live in a uh in an inter uh, we live in an interdependent fashion like we are dependent on each other so this level of organization is known as the population means when similar kind of when, when same group of organisms we call them as species similar group of organisms is called as a species like human beings where one kind of species it includes only the human beings and when these human beings in a particular area okay it is known as the population like human population of sambal human population of sambal it may be Uh, around 20 30 lakhs so this is the population of the sambal human population similarly the dogs in your colony they make the separate population the cats in your colony they make up the separate population so population is a group of individuals of similar kind means of the same species all right and when the populations live together they make up the community like uh, for example i will give you the example of sambal the community in sambal what does it have the community in sambal has the population of dogs cats animals human beings all living together so the different kinds of populations living together in a particular area makes up the community okay 
Now next, next level of organization is the ecosystem. Communities are of two kinds, biotic communities and abiotic communities. So biotic communities means living communities and abiotic communities means non-living communities. Biotic communities means like dog population, human population, cats population, okay? So this, this together makes the biotic population. And abiotic population means like the air we breathe, the water we drink, the land we live on. It makes up the abiotic community. Okay, when both biotic and abiotic community, when they are concerned together, when they are when they are concerned together, it makes up the ecosystem. So ecosystem is an association of the living and non-living communities in a particular area. Okay. And the highest level of organization is the biosphere. Okay. Biosphere, in other words, we can say that the sum total of all the ecosystems on the earth is known as the biosphere. Like what ecosystems do we have? Ecosystem contains both the living and non-living communities living in close association with each other. All right, this makes up the ecosystem. For example, ecosystem example, I will give you like pond ecosystem. Pond has water in it, fish, mud, okay? The water, uh, the, the oxygen dissolved in the water. So all these things make up the pond ecosystem. Okay, ecosystems may be small like pond ecosystems or it may be large like the forest or the ocean, okay? Ecosystems may be man-made like aquarium, our garden, okay, is a man-made ecosystem. And ecosystems may be natural, okay, like ocean, forests. We did not make the oceans and the forests. They were made by the nature themselves. So that's why oceans and the forests are the examples of the natural ecosystems, while as pond and aquarium are the examples of the man-made ecosystems. Okay, now all the ecosystems present on the earth make up the biosphere. So biosphere includes whatever life is present on the earth and association with the non-living components as well. All the ecosystems when, when together concerned, they make up the biosphere, which is the highest level of organization on earth. This is all about today's lecture. Thank you for watching me.